Hi everyone. I think this video is starting live. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Hi everyone. So I'm doing an impromptu live stream right now. <clears throat> I'm in my studio and I'm working on Valentine's Day cards and such. I have a lot to do today. It's Monday. It's Manifestation Monday. And <clears throat> I already pulled my Oracle cards. I already made a post on the Patreon page if you are a part of that there. So go check that out. And I, <clears throat> excuse me, I am creating some Valentine's Day signs and cards. So what I'm doing right now is I just figured, hey, you know what? I'm creating, sitting in my studio. I don't know if anyone's going to join, but I thought I would post a video here and later I'll probably share it onto YouTube if it seems to be okay. So what I'm working on right now is kind of like a window card using an envelope from junk mail and paint. So let me show you what I'm doing because I can't move the camera down. Um, but I'm in the process of painting this envelope red and the inside of the envelope had a window here. You know, it's like those junk mail things you get. And I inserted a picture of Jimmy and me and then I put it together with can't really see and this is wet so there's washi tape ah. yeah wait a minute let me see if I can do that there is washi tape holding down the picture because I didn't want to paste it this way if we ever want to take it out we can not that we will but so I've painted this side I'm going to go ahead and paint this now, and then I'm going to paint this side. So what is everybody else doing on this Monday? It's actually a glorious day. It really is. It's beautiful out. The sun is shining. It's like, um, you know, after the storm that we had of the weekend with all the snow. And... Spam. I love how that always seems to happen whenever I am trying to do something. should probably turn my phone down, but currently my hands are in paint, so I can't do that. It would be really fun if, any, if anybody, if anyone here in the group decided to jump on, but since I didn't announce it, I have a feeling that that's not going to happen, but that's okay. The video will be permanent. I'm probably going to get up in just a moment to get some coffee and let this dry for a second so I can do the other side. And I'm trying to be really careful because I don't want the paint to seep in on the photograph. I think I mentioned this is going to be a card for Jimmy. I always, every single Valentine's Day, create a handmade card for him always. I never buy him a card for Christmas, birthday, anytime there is a event in our relationship. I never buy him a card. I always create and he's used to that. So I have to like get all my ideas going and then I just kind of like sit down with it and it flows magically. So right now this is what I have. I'm going to go get I'm going to go get my coffee, and I'll be right back. I wish there was a way to pause the video, but there's really not, so I'll be right back. In the meantime, if anybody joins in while I am getting my coffee, this is my studio space, everyone. For those of you that are new, those of you that have 
are in the group here in the journal workshop live stream group are familiar. But those of you that might catch this on YouTube, this is my studio nook within the wardrobe. This used to be the room I have created into my entire wardrobe slash closet. And the actual closet that was in the room, I removed the doors and I created this entire space to be a studio. So you are currently seeing the side of the end of the closet and what's in front of me that you're just catching a little glimpse of and you can see this little guy right here hanging out. He's a little vintage Humpty Dumpty doll that I purchased many, many years ago at a quaint little antique store in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania when I lived there. I was in my late 20s and I adore that so much. The shop was called The Salt Box and I loved that place so much. I bought so many things there. I have so many memories from that particular shop and one of the things that I own in addition to the sweet little doll is a beautiful sideboard that has been used as so many different things in my home. When I first brought it into my home, it was used as a blanket chest and just a place to put um, collectibles on top. And then it became a sideboard where I, well, actually it was a blanket chest underneath and then the top of it was a sideboard in case we needed extra space for food when we entertained. And then it became a bar ultimately over time at the castle many, many years later. And it has moved with me since I've been in my early 20s. So it was vintage when I bought it. It's really vintage now. <laughs> and it's so gorgeous. It is now, well, it was a bar at the castle. And now that it's here at the cottage, it has become our media cabinet. So we have all of our CDs and DVDs and VHS tapes in it. And then on top of it, we have our television and our sound bar and that kind of thing. So it has evolved into different things within our home to suit our needs. Hanging behind me right here <laughs> is one of the lingerie pieces that I have currently listed available for purchase. Um, from my wardrobe sale and uh, I'm going to be today working manif manifesting photographs to place in my Poshmark. Now I did offer all of these items available for purchase on a Facebook video and if you want to catch it there it does have free shipping in the price and all the prices are listed I have mentioned in the video. If you didn't catch it there and you happen to see it on Poshmark, um, Poshmark puts their own shipping to it so there will be additional cost. So what I would recommend is if you are going to purchase it, then contact me and purchase it direct so that you don't have to pay for shipping. Anyways, I'll be right back. I'm going to go and get my coffee and we will get back to creating and crafting in my magical studio. and. Yes, yeah, so this is definitely part of Enchanted Homemaking because for me, in order to enchant my home, I need to create. And when I get back with my coffee, I'm also going to show you while this is drying some items that I am working on for Valentine's Day, two little signs to hang around my house. They're very, I want to say primitive, but not primitive in style, but primitive in materials. And I'll talk about that in just a moment. So I'll be right back.
everyone, I am back and I have my coffee. I'm going to turn down my phone. Okay. All right, that way we won't get all those notifications. <laughs> Okay, so let me share with you what I have going on here. I'm super excited about this because I'm going to be hanging these signs in my home, and these are something that you all can do too very, very easily. So this is just like a brief little kind of um, <clears throat> tutorial in a sense that I'm not going to show you step by step. I'm just going to show you what... I'm beginning with and I know that you can recreate this very easily so let me share this with you okay I know you're all familiar with the vinyl clings that you can get in your local markets dollar stores etc you can find vinyl clings anywhere what I love to do with vinyl clings is I love to use them for signage and I really don't like to put them on my windows because I feel like they never really stick. For whatever reason, when it gets cold, they seem to fall off. So they're perfect for a little while on your windows, but since my children are all grown up, and I do have my grandchildren, but they are not always here to enjoy the clings on my windows, I use them for other things. So here's what I do with them. I had some cardboard pieces in my stash from boxes and things that I've ordered. So, oh, and look at me. I'm in my robe today. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm in my robe, and my hair is in a, a very loose pony in the back, and I'm just creating. Like, I haven't even gotten dressed yet because it's a lazy, lazy Monday. I don't have to leave my home today. So I'm just creating in my robe, and a little bit later, I'm probably going to get dressed. <clears throat> And I want to vacuum my house today. That's one of the things I want to do and do my dishes. So um, in any event, what I do is I take the cardboard and I place the vinyl clings on the cardboard with glue. And I use contact cement. You guys, I talk about contact cement all the time. It is a really great product to use, and I highly recommend it. You can use it for so many things. So then on the bottom, I just used... I got this wood glue from the Dollar Tree, and I love it. It's really great. It works so well for so many different projects. And this ribbon is also from the Dollar Tree. I just finished using it, but, you know, it comes like this in a nine-foot little roll. And it's their lace. They carry this all the time, which now it will be $1.25, but it's still inexpensive. And I just put a line of glue on the bottom and attached my lace. And when it's when it's totally dry, I will trim the edges. I like to loosely place the ribbon on the bottom and trim later so that it creates more of a finished look. Whereas if you stretch it and cut it, sometimes it shrinks as the glue dries. So a little tip and trick is to make it a little bit larger than what you need, and then you can trim it later. So we'll be trimming later once it's completely dry. Then I punched holes at the top. I measured and punched holes, and I will be using a ribbon to tie at the top. Now, I may or may not add additional collaging onto this board. If I don't do it this year, these will be put away for next year's decor and next Valentine's Day decorating. I may take it out and add to it then if I don't do anything this year. But for now, I'm kind of digging just the simplicity of it. It's very, very simple. It really truly is, but I'm just kind of digging the simplicity of it with just a little bit of lace. I may embellish more, like I said. I may not, but it's just the idea of having something to place around your home, something cute to look at, and you know me, I love cats. So here is another one, and these, by the way, make great gifts. They're very simple to make. You could create these, like, in a day. And you could send these out to your special loved one 
or just keep them for yourselves. But you could collage so much on these. Write a little note instead of giving a card. Package this up and send it in a very large envelope or a box. And, you know, throw some cute little Valentine's Day things inside. And you have a lovely surprise to give to someone if you wanted to share it that way. So those were the larger pieces of, of boards that I had. And then these, I think, are super sweet. Super, super sweet. Look at this little guy. I love him. <laughs> He's like one of those Persian cats where the face is kind of like pushed in a little bit. I just love him. And he has his paw on a little yarn heart. So I did the same thing. I'm waiting for them to totally dry. And then I will trim and hang cording. And then this is my favorite one because I love this sweet little kitty. And it has a beautiful rose on the bottom. This is my absolute favorite one. I think I'm going to hang this one here in my studio. So sweet. I'm probably going to hang all of those in my studio. Just kind of like put them all around in here. Just to, you know, um, decorate the studio a little bit. I have little touches of Valentine's Day in here already. Um... Most of the stuff is Valentine's Day all year round, to be honest with you, because I love Valentine's Day. But um, this is just so cute, and I think I might just hang this from inside my studio above the um, the hanging bar where I have my pometer ball and my roses, my rose swag. So yeah, this is just so cute. I love it. So that's what I'm working on currently right now, and this is pretty much dried. So I can flip it around and do the other side now. And I might add more color to it. I'm not sure. We'll see. Mm. Also, since we're in my studio, um, and I'm filming on my Chromebook so that I can't move my camera, but I will show you just a couple things of how I've decorated. This is a pen holder that I created last year using a can and some vintage ephemera that I printed off from the internet um, on my printer. And then I used some washi tape. And in it, I have all of these beautiful Valentine's Day pens. Look how adorable this one is, you guys. I love this. It actually writes. It is a pen. But I love using it for decor. So I have this. And then I have this sweet little pen right here. This is from the Dollar Tree. It has little crystal gems inside. Uh, this large one that I just shared with you is from Shop Miss A. <clears throat> and then this is also either Dollar Tree or Shop Miss A. And it has sweet little gold polka dots. Um, this pen right here, look at how cute this is. This is like a glitter pen. And let me show you. It lights up. See that? Isn't that cute? I think you can keep it on. Yeah, you can keep it on while you write. So this is like really magical. I love this. This would be really fun if you worked as a server and, you know, you were in a restaurant that had like dim lighting. It would be so cool to take somebody's order <laughs> with that. I also have this cute little Valentine's Day pen. These are all pens. And this one. And these are all from Shop Miss A. This one is purple with the little gold polka dots. This one is from the Dollar Tree. It's really pretty purple and blue, metallic. And then this rose one, I think, is from Dollar General. Yeah. And even when these don't rain any longer, I keep them because they make perfect decor. And then I have another <clears throat> jar that I decorated. And this one I decorated with a leopard print. Now, let me tell you about this. If you've been with me for a while, you know that I love animal print. I love zebra. I love cheetah, leopard. And I have... I used to, at the castle, have my refrigerator lined with zebra print placemats. Well, now the zebra print placemats are inside the cabinets here at the magical kitchen at the cottage. And I also have some leopard 
placemats as well in my cupboards. And I have a few lining my vanity here in the wardrobe. But what I did was I took a picture of the leopard print and then I scanned it. I had Jimmy scan it into our computer and this way now and then he sent me the copy so I can print these off whenever I want and use them for different things in my paper crafts. So I covered a jar and I love it. And this is a pen that I made, a rose pen. It's so beautiful, you guys. Incidentally, I make these and they are available for sale. One of my friends, Victoria, used to purchase these all the time. She absolutely loved using these when she was writing in her journals. Um, these are available for purchase. These are $12. All you have to do is message me and let me know. And um, there's an additional charge um, for shipping as well. But, um, but yeah, if you are interested in any of these pens, I can make them custom made for your colors. So just let me know. And then I have another adorable pen, heart shape, Shot Miss A. This is also Shot Miss A. This is a cute little ballerina. Love that. And this rose pen here my daughter gave to me. This is from Dollar General. I love this. And so this one no longer writes. I used to use this one. I used it to its death. It no longer writes, but Again, I mentioned that I keep them because they're lovely and beautiful and they decorate my space so lovely. And then this one is from Shop Masse. I've also purchased a lot of pens from Shop Miss A for Christmas as well, and I just kind of swap them out for the different seasons and decorate here in my studio space. As you can see, they look so lovely. All right, one of these days to probably do a desk tour. How would that be of my studio space? I want to show you this cute little Valentine I made. I made this years ago. This is a little fairy heart token. And these are very light. They are super, super duper light. And I used to make these to sell. They are so gorgeous. They are created with my hand dyed papers and then I have glittered them. So they're cute little, as I call them, fairy tokens. And they make sweet little, sweet little additions to packages. They almost look like marshmallows. They're just so, they're airy like a marshmallow. Uh, sweet little additions to packages and things like that. And just placing around for decor. A bunch of them will look beautiful in a bowl. So if anyone, 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 <laughs> anyone is interested in those too, just let me know. Now, for those of you that are catching this on YouTube and might just be joining me for the very first time, I mention a lot of the things that I make that I can sell because you might not be familiar with what I do and I am self-employed, basically. Um, I really don't create a bunch of art and just hold on to it in hopes that someone's going to buy it. I basically am at this point because music is really my main thing. Um, but I'm a commissioned artist. In other words, I make a lot of stuff and unless I'm making it for a show specifically, if you see something that you like or you know of my work and you're interested. You can always message me and we can talk about um, doing something that you need, pricing, etc. Some of the things that I've made already, for example, like the pens and stuff like that, um, I don't have a bunch of them ready and waiting because I sold out of those at my shows. But I um I know what they cost and so I can just basically let you know about that in that way. Here's something else too that I want to share with you. Speaking of things that I've made, these are 
bookmarks that I make. These are paper feathers. And these are also $12 available for purchase with a little bit of shipping extra. And they're so gorgeous. They are done with aged papers that, well, I have aged the paper. And then they're all beaded. And then they have this cute little curly cue on the bottom. And you can either string them, like if you have a boho home and you want to string a bunch of feathers around in different places to decorate, or I like to use them as bookmarks. I think they're really lovely and they look absolutely gorgeous in your journals. So I do have a bunch of those made because I had prepared them for a show and I had hoped that I was going to be able to do the spring show that I always like to do at the fire hall. I've talked about that before in other videos. But I just got the information in the mail. And unfortunately, the show is on a day that we are doing a band gig. So I would not be able to do the spring show. It would just be too much and not enough time to get things together and do the show and then be at the gig and have the energy for that, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully I'll be able to do the fall one if I know what the date is. What had happened was someone else took over the um, responsibility of setting up the show and organizing it. And so I no longer have the same contact. And the contact that had it before, she and I were really good friends. So she would always tell me in advance <clears throat> what the date was going to be of the shows, spring and fall, so that I could put it in my planner and then I would just purposefully not schedule a gig for the band. But now that she is no longer working on the committee... I don't have access to that privy, so if I can't do the show, I can't do the show. This is going to be so cute, as soon as it dries a little bit. I will. Show you. I hope that you're going to be able to hear this video because I just realized that my volume was kind of turned down and I really don't know how it works. I'm filming first here on Facebook Live. We're already 28 minutes in and I don't even know if anyone's with me, but it's really okay. So let me show you what this looks like. It looks so cute. Look at that. So sweet. And then I painted a piece of paper and I wrote on it. And then he will carry me away to his cottage where we will live happily ever after. And I'm going to, when this is dry, glue that to the front of the envelope. And then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to seal the envelope. I'm going to actually write a love letter and I'm going to put the love letter inside the envelope for Jimmy for our anniversary. And this particular anniversary, um, more than likely by the time that you see this video, it's going to be after Valentine's Day because even though I showed you Valentine's Day decor, these are items that you could basically make for any specific occasion. So it's not like, you know, it has to be for Valentine's Day. You could use the boards and and uh, window clings for Easter or, you know, for Halloween or what have you. Birthdays. They make window clings for anything, you know, to make things like that that I showed you earlier. And these envelope um, art pieces. Basically, you could write a love letter 
and deliver it to someone special at any time. So by the time you see this video, it's probably going to be after Valentine's Day, which Valentine's Day is our anniversary. But um, I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> Oh my, I don't know. Anyhow, writing a love letter is really a nice thing to do. You can write a love letter at any time. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. So, I have been curating a lot of little items to put together for this Valentine's Day for Jimmy, for our anniversary. And it's going to be 15 years that we have been married on Valentine's Day this year. And, um, yeah, and the theme this year, and I don't want to say this too loud because he's in the other room. He's working right now. Um, but the theme this year, and I can say it, that's where I was going, is because you're going to catch this after. So if he happens to watch it, it won't be until after he's already experienced what I'm talking about. The theme this year is going to be strawberries. So the color is brilliant red with just touches of pink and I found while thrifting the most gorgeous gorgeous they're like tiny goblets perfect for like a little swig of something you know in fact I will show you in fact, we're going to do a little haul. This video is going to be kind of lengthy, but we're going to do a little haul of my Valentine's Day collection of things that I've been uh, curating for this year. So I found these beautiful little goblets, and I also purchased strawberry wine. And ironically, one of the songs we're doing in one of our bands is the old tune by Deanna Carter, or Dina Carter, called Strawberry Wine. And it's just such a beautiful song. So I bought strawberry wine and I'm also going to purchase some strawberries and I've done this before on a Valentine's Day before for my whole family when my children were young. I am kind of congested. I have a little bit of a cold of which I'm trying to really manage nicely because we have a gig this weekend, which it's Valentine's Day party this weekend. So I have to like <laughs> really kind of take care of it. It's not a terrible cold, but it's just, it's there. So it's like, I need a decongestant right now and I'm not getting up to get one, but, um, I, I'm going to dip strawberries in chocolate and then I place them on a beautiful tray and the tray that I did this on before was I went to our local market and I had purchased, they're like meat trays. I know that sounds gross. I really don't even like to eat meat, but we have it in the house, obviously. Um, for Jimmy mainly. But anyways, you know, chicken and fish and things like that. Not, not so much fish, but chicken and beef comes on these meat trays. And sometimes they're on a black styrofoam kind of tray, which is super cool to use and collect for Halloween crafting. By the way, tip and trick. But <clears throat> they also come in white and they also come in pink. So you can either recycle or you can ask your butcher, you know, and they might give them to you. But if you recycle them, as long as you clean them off really, really well with soap and water, they're clean. And I use them as the tray for the melted strawberries. So you dip your strawberries, you place them beautifully on this tray, and then you package them bottoms up like a basket package with the clear cello that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and a beautiful ribbon and a tag. And that's what I'm going to do. We're going to have chocolate covered dip strawberries and I'm going to dip them in white chocolate basically. <clears throat> yes, I'm going to dip them in white chocolate and then I'm going to sprinkle them with red sprinkles. So it's going to be so beautiful. We are actually going out that day. Jimmy has a doctor appointment. So I have to try to work on this um, soon. Oh my God. Yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up. So like, I think the 12th is Saturday and then the 13th is Sunday and the 14th is Monday. Yes, so I need to get on this this week, which means I need to get to the supermarket 
get some strawberries and create these strawberries and just have them ready in my fridge um, so that I can do this. And I don't have any trays right now. So when I go to the supermarket, I need to either pick up something on a pink tray <laughs> or um, it could be a white tray too. White tray would be fine. Or I might have something in our freezer now that I could defrost for dinner this week and use that. But I definitely need the strawberries. So I'm thinking ahead. Um, okay, now, so I need to get on that. We're going to probably have a Cornish hen dinner. Um, so I'll have to defrost those and have them ready. And basically, it's probably going to be a late dinner that night because we're going to be out and about during the day with an appointment for Jimmy. Unless we change the dinner plans. Who knows? That could happen. But the dessert is definitely... I could probably make the Cornish hens the day before. And the reason we're chit-chatting is because I'm waiting for this to dry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyways, I'm thinking about that, how I'm going to do that, but it's going to be really great. So we're going to do the strawberries. We're going to have strawberry wine. And um, then I got a really beautiful box that I'm hoping these glasses fit into. So let me go grab this and we'll do a little haul. Be right back. Okay. All right. So these are, they're like cordial glasses. They're crystal. I picked these up at the thrift store. And we have something similar in wine goblets. They're either wine or water goblets. You can use them for either or. In crystal, so they're larger. These are just a smaller version of that. And as you can hear that, they are definitely crystal. So I think I got these for like a dollar a piece, but they are worth so much more than that because they're actual crystal. So they're really gorgeous, and I love them, and we will be doing... Um, we're going to have the strawberry wine with our dinner. And, well, actually, we might have the strawberry wine... We'll probably have the strawberry wine with our dinner because it's a light wine, and then we'll probably use these cordial glasses to have some brandy or something after. So I've, I'm really excited about that. I cannot wait. I've been holding on to these for quite a while. And then this is the box. Oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure they fit. So this is the box. Jimmy and I are bibliophiles. bibliophiles. We love books so much. We have a library here in our home, and these are just... This is gorgeous. These look like two old books stacked. I know currently the Dollar Tree is selling what they're calling a stack of books. Let me tell you, you guys. Unless you design them, redesign them, I've seen all over the internet in different Dollar Tree renovations, DIYs of people upcycling them, shall I say. Nobody has done them like this. If I were to purchase those, this is what I would make them look like. I'm probably not going to purchase them because I don't have time to be recycling and, or upcycling, and especially since I have these. But look how beautiful these are. So this is actually a box. Yeah, whereas the Dollar Tree ones, you guys, is just decor. This is decor and functional at the same time. Oh, my God. So this is actually going to be a gift to Jimmy from me, but it's really something for both of us for Valentine's Day. And let's just check together. I'm pretty sure I did this before. Let's see if these goblets fit. Oh, and they do. Yes, they fit. I'll be able to put one in one way and then turn the other one around, you know, so it's... I don't want to hold this up right now with both of them in there, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. So one, whoops, one can go this way and then the other one will go opposite and then it does close completely. So when he opens up that box, oh, I am super excited about that, which means I need to clean these. 
to make sure that they are ready for our dessert. He's going to be so surprised. I cannot wait. All right, and then this right here is a candle from Bath and Body Works, and it is strawberry pound cake. So when the Bath and Body Works was having their sale, I think it was like buy three wick for at this particular time. Um, it might have been buy one, get one free, something like that. Anyways, this is the strawberry pound cake, and the design is very, very simple on this particular one. What I love about these candles, too, is these jars are recyclable, so you can take the sticker off and recycle the jar and use it as a place to put items on your vanity. You could fill this, for example. First of all, it smells so good. This is what it looks like. So the whole theme is strawberry. Ah. Oh. Just love it. Um, you could place these on your vanity, fill it with um, a homemade dusting powder, which, by the way, I have a recipe for that. If you are interested in recipes that I share, um, specific recipes like this one in, in particular, join me on Patreon. Join me on Patreon. It's only a dollar to join you guys, but you can actually... Put any monetary amount that you wish that you think is worth it to you for the content that I create on Patreon um, because it does ask you when you sign up um, what you're what you're purchasing what you're paying and you can join for only a dollar I do have other tiers as well but if you don't want to join any other tier but the dollar tier you can actually add your own monetary amount to that um, and if you are a patron of mine already and or you would like to join the tribe on Patreon, send me a message there on Patreon and let me know that you want the recipe for my sparkling dusting powder. But you could actually put dusting powder in here. You could put cotton balls in here, Q-tips, makeup brushes, whatever. Just You could put them in your inventory cabinet. You know, you can use them in your, your art studio, however you wanted to use them. So, that is the theme. It's the strawberry theme. And I can't wait. I'm going to leave the glasses out because I do need to... do need to wash those and I just realized that this week I have to get everything ready for Valentine's Day so I'm going to be doing that between today and tomorrow packing Valentine's Day things because we are going to be um, taking one of our daughters to an appointment this week which means that we're going to be going to the castle and uh, to pick her up and I can give her her Valentine's Day gifts as well as our granddaughter and we'll be in the area for the other grandchildren as well that we could drop things off. So yes, I just, I'm glad I'm doing this video because I just realized, oh my goodness, I need to get on this. All right, now let's do the haul. This has been a, a lot of stuff that I've been accumulating as well for the grandkids. So I have these cute little lip balms for my granddaughter, Ava Rose. She loves Minnie, and she's too young to keep these by herself, for herself. But my daughter can bring these out whenever Ava Rose needs to have some lip balm, and I think that's super sweet. This I actually purchased for Jimmy. This was actually very inexpensive. I got it at our local market, but it's true U European chocolate, sweet obsession. I think I purchased this before, and he liked it. So it's milk chocolate with almonds, and I'm going to be wrapping this up for him. Um, 
I got two of these at the Dollar Tree, either the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. Let's see. I can't remember which one, but these are heart-shaped hot cocoa bombs, and our older grandkids, Summer and Hunter, love having annual cocoa gatherings with Grammy and Pappy at Christmas, so I thought, how fun is that for Valentine's Day? So I got them each one of those. I got this for Little Miss Ava Rose. She loves elephants, and an elephant is the first toy that um, her pappy and me, Jimmy and me, got for her when she was a baby, first born. So that is for her and my daughter to craft together. And then I'm going to line her Valentine's Day bag with this piece of fabric. It has elephants on it. And I got this for my daughter, Nikki, to paint. Just a cute little craft. It's a cupcake. And then I think I got Oh yeah. I got it the same one for my older daughter. So yeah, that's another stop I have to make. To both of my daughters and grandkids. So a few stops. I got this for um grandson for Hunter. And these are actually little items that Jimmy and I picked up when we were out shopping. Um, so, yeah, those came from Dollar General. And I think the Valentine's Day hot cocoa bombs were from Dollar General as well. Yeah, in fact, all of these items are from Dollar General, including the lip balms, not the Dollar Tree. These were from the Dollar General. This was also at the Dollar General. This is for our son, Justin. He loves Ferrero Rocher. And I also got these. These are not for Valentine's Day, but... I need to put these out, and these will actually hold, for example, if I wanted to hang my signs on glass, eh, I could use these little suction cups. So I did need those. Um, this is for a granddaughter Summer. Some Barbie lip balms. Then I got some red tissue. and some beautiful Valentine's Day cards. Uh, these were from the Dollar General. So, And they're, they're not... I don't know that they're... I think they're like a dollar... Um, these are American Greetings cards, and I think they're a little bit over a dollar. So um, comparable now to the Dollar Tree since the, the price went up. But this is for our... Um, one of our granddaughters. Can't remember which one. I have to see what we have here. I think this is for Summer. This one's for Hunter. So cute. And here's a little tip and trick, you guys. Whenever you go shopping for cards, put them in their envelopes like this and make sure that you have the... Um, the code here available so that it makes it easy for the cashier to just go ahead and check out. They really appreciate that. That's a little act of kindness you can do for them. Um, and then this is for Little Miss Ava Rose. Yeah, this one's for Little Miss Ava Rose. Oh my. Um, okay, and then this is for, oh, okay, this is for one of our daughters. I have to get these cards already. And this is for another daughter. And this one is for Justin. We have four kids, but we don't really do Valentine's Day stuff with our oldest son because 
he's just really not into that. And he, he's a minimalist, and he just doesn't really like tchotchkes or anything like that. Even candies, he, you know, has a specific diet that he follows, and so that's just how that goes. And then lastly, oh, there's a couple more things. I also got these little Debbies, and I'm going to unpackage these, and I'm going to put them on, um, oops, hang on one second. Something is falling here. Give me just one minute. I have to be strategic with my space. Okay. Um, going to get pretty straws that are either red or pink. I'm going to unpackage these, put the straw inside at the bottom of the heart, and then package them up with cello wrap. So I'm going to make them a little bit more DIY and make them look a little bit more handmade. And I'm going to the store tomorrow. Tomorrow, this is Monday, the day that I'm filming this. I'm going to the store on Tuesday. So I will be finishing up these kind of things um, then, because Wednesday is the day that we're picking up my daughter and we will be making our rounds. Now, I just thought of this too. We're also going to the area um, where our kids live on Thursday as well because we have a band practice. So, yeah. So I have a couple of days to make deliveries. Um, and then lastly, oh, I have a couple Valentine's Day picks in this bag, but these are just basically for decor. I'm going to go ahead and put them in my pen case uh, or pen jar. And then this is a little DIY that I made for my daughter and son-in-law for little Miss Ava Rose there. See that? It is a jar. I put a rose on the top. I hand painted with a faux finish the top of the lid. And this is just placed on here with uh, contact cement and it dried clear. I think it was the best glue to use so that you don't see lines in the back because it's just sheer glass. And then to protect the image before I glued it down, I used packing tape over top of the image. I printed this image from a photograph off of my printer and then put the packing tape on it, oversized it, and then cut it to trim after it was placed on the image. And then once it was trimmed properly to fit this jar, I then used the contact cement to adhere it. And let me show you. Oh, and then I put a little ribbon, and the ribbon's from the Dollar Tree. I've also included a little tea light candle, and that goes inside. And look how beautiful that looks. So the light just bounces around on their image. And this is what it looks like in the back. So this is for their mantle, and that is a gift for both of them. For the family, actually. So yes, I love Valentine's Day. <laughs> and I need to leave all of these items out on my... desk today so that I can get them prepared for packaging. So that, my friends, is what is happening and what is going on. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me just share with you what this looks like. It is dry now. And I can't get into my contact cement glue. Oh, my contact cement glue is out already. Perfect. All right, so... Let me just get that on there, and then I'll show you what that looks like, and I will then close out the video. Oh, ow. <laughs> I just banged my head. I am really limited for space. <laughs> I can't believe I banged my head. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Boom. Yeah. All right. Limited for space. I'm going to put all these things back in the bag so that I can get to them later, actually. On my desk is probably not the good idea with paint, water, and all of that stuff that I have here. Hmm. 
Looks like I have it all. Okay. All right. So now I have this piece right here. Turn the camera. And I'm going to... I didn't realize I had my contact cement. This is what it looks like, by the way. I had it out and ready, and I actually need to order more of this. I usually get it from walmart.com, but if you purchase it in the store, here is a little hack to know. Do not get it in the craft section. You'll get a smaller jar, and it will be more money. Go to the office supply section of Walmart, and purchase it in the office supply section, you will get the larger bottle for the same price that you would get the smaller bottle in the craft section. Just a little tip for you. All right. And then once it adhered, you have a little bit of wiggle room, and then I take an old, this is, this is actually a Walmart gift card that is no longer um, in use and not refillable, so I keep things like this, and I use them to burnish things that I glue onto the surface that I'm placing them on, and this is what that looks like. So, I'm not quite done with it. Probably going to do a little bit of doodling on it and then a little bit more painting and I will go ahead and write a love letter and it will be done. So, thank you so much for being with me. We are almost into an hour of this crafting session. I hope that you enjoyed this impromptu video. It was completely unplanned, but I will be sharing it on YouTube as well, so you can either catch it in the journal workshop if you are a member. If you're not a member and you're catching this on YouTube, leave me a comment below and I will let you know how you can become a member of the journal workshop group. We do a journal workshop once a month, the second Monday of every single month. We've been doing it for the last couple of years, and within the group there are two years worth of footage of videos from each workshop as well as other posts that are of inspiration in the group. So I would love for you to become a member of that. Um, there is a fee for the group, so just leave me a comment and uh, we can talk about that if you're interested. So I love you guys all so much. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. I hope that you did get some ideas, not only for Valentine's Day. As I said, you're going to see this video um, in the group, you will see it right away if you're, you know, in the group. But if you're watching this on YouTube for the very first time, you won't see it posted until much after the holiday. Um, but you can use these tips and tricks for any occasion, birthdays, Christmas, Easter, you know, what have you. So I love you all for being here. I appreciate your time. And I wish you so much love, many, many blessings, and many friendships to come. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Oh yeah, and don't forget to share the video. And if you are watching it on YouTube, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to talk to you in the comments below because you know I love chit-chatting with you. So yeah, have a great day. Mwah.